when I think of Brian Dawkins, it surely is a dichotomy. Boom, shaka locker. I mean, this guy is the most mild-mannered guy you've ever been around. Mild-mannered, you know, real quiet Christian man. Give me some. Give me some of that. Give me some of that, Steve. Give me some of that. Very meek, very mild, very uh, well-mannered individual. He's like a teddy bear. Brian Dawkins has two personalities and two lockers. One is for the six-time Pro Bowl safety of the Eagles. The other is for his alter ego, a Weapon X superhero named the Wolverine. The Wolverine is a Marvel Comics character with a steel skeleton and razor-sharp claws. What's the fascination with you and the Wolverine? Um, I've always liked the X-Men, and then when I caught Winter Wolverine and how he is and the fact that he never backs down from a battle, the fact that he's intense all the time, is something that invited me into that world. To enter that world and become the Wolverine, Dawkins performs a series of pre-game rituals. The transformation begins with his meticulously painted green and silver breathe right strip. I didn't want the regular black, or I wanted to be to have something different yeah. than everybody else. That's all about looks. Okay, I'm feeling good the way I look going onto the field. I like the way the guns are sticking out a little bit there. I might, you know, put a little oil on to make sure they glisten a little bit. I feel good about that. That's a lot of positive going onto the field, Jack. So is somebody in trouble. <laughs> That's called speaking in tongues. I pray constantly if you were able to mic me before the good? game. But didn't in The Exorcist, didn't the little girl, she spoke in tongues and they said that she was possessed by the devil? The way that I'm using it is just praying over myself and the rest of the team. Come on, come on, come on. I'll let you boy today. While I'm out there, I'll let you boy. I'll let you boy. Me and the ball have a relationship, and sometimes they don't always listen to me. <laughs> so I'm telling you, you know, you need to holler at me today. Let's talk a little bit today. Come, come by and see me. I'll let you boy tonight. I'll let you boy tonight. I'll let you boy. I need to see you. Even a superhero you. needs allies for the coming battle, and no one inspires them like Brian Dawkins. Can y'all feel that? Can you feel that thing? That's oozing like your doggone hands. That thing is beating your doggone chest right now. Can you feel that? about to happen on this field, man. Whatever you got today, I got to have it. Relax, have a good time, and most of all, act the fool. What does that mean, act the fool? Act the fool goes with that emotional, just letting everything go. Don't hold back. Party. It's party time, baby! It's party time! It's party time! We can't play like that. Act the fool, man. One, two, three, act, act the fool! fool. The final step in the transformation takes place in the tunnel. I'll get to the to the base of the, um, and I see the smoke. I hear the other guys getting announced, and you know, just like a crescendo. I'm like, you know, getting hyped more and more and more intense, and all of a sudden, when he comes out, you know, he transforms into that Wolverine thing. I mean, he believes in that. He just is out of his mind, and he maintains that now through the whole game, on fire the whole game. I like that feeling being able to deliver that big hit at the right time to change the momentum of a game. If I can get you to think twice, I'm in your head. You better tell him to get it down, okay, Cooley. Get me all you want. Yeah, but you're going to feel it, Cooley. I'm telling you, you're going to feel it. As passionate as you are, you don't curse. That's something that should not come out of a righteous man's mouth, so I choose not to use it. God, don't. God, don't. Love it. 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 
So if I yeah. if I use profanity in this interview, what would you what would you tell me? I mean nothing. God bless you. God bless you. But that don't mean that I'm I'm cushy. Yeah. So if you You're think, cushy. Yeah. That, that don't mean I'm cushy. Just because I'm not cursing back at you or getting in a, a fussing match with you. Yeah. And if you're thinking that that makes me soft, that I'm not, Cushy. yeah, that, that if you run the ball in that hole and I get a chance to deliver something to you that I'm not going to do it, you, you're sadly mistaken. Just because he doesn't curse at you doesn't mean he can't put a curse on you. Ball is spotted. The kick is away, and the kick is no good. good. See that? I'm a, I did that. I did that. Dawkins is part of a legion of multi-talented safeties. Denver's John Lynch. Ed Reed of the Ravens. The Patriots' Rodney Harrison. The Steelers' Troy Palomalo. And the Colts' Bob Sanders must do it all. They have to race up and shut down the run, as well as cut off crossing routes. They must be able to blitz the quarterback patrol the deep middle and deliver a drive ending hit. But no defender ever had a record setting single game like Dawkins. In what is known in Philadelphia as the quadrifecta, he intercepted a pass, recovered a fumble, sacked the quarterback, and caught a touchdown pass. It's a fake, and it goes on the pitch, running with the football wide open, getting a block. Yet Dawkins doesn't have what many of those other safeties have, a Super Bowl ring. After 12 seasons, he hasn't experienced the ultimate transformation into a world champion. I've never reached the top. I've never been one of the, on the on a championship team in football. Never Pop in Warner, like Pop Warner, Pop Warner high school, high school. Yeah can't even put those in words what that would mean to me in 2007 that Super Bowl dream took a big hit we know a neck injury sidelined Dawkins for most of the first half of the season Jesus. the Eagles struggled without him <laughs> sometimes I get the worst of it excruciating pain and it's nothing you can do but lay there and cry <laughs> I was mad at the fact that I knew that I had to come out the game. You just go give everything you got, knowing that it could hurt, but that this is going to be something that you're going to send a message to the opposing team, and you're going to also send a message to your teammates. Man, hey, let's go, God dog it, man. Let's go. Don't let me log in, man. Let's go. Damn it, let's go. We count on him, and when he's not out there, we miss a little heartbeat. He's accomplished a lot in this league, and I'm not even speaking just on the football field. He's helped so many young players. Whatever we need, you be that thing. You be that leader that I know you are in here, baby, that heart and that chest. Be that tonight. Brian Dawkins is a Philadelphia superhero. He's won more games than any other Eagle. More important, he's won the respect of both his teammates and his opponents. Beat Dawkins. Oh, it's going to be a fun game today. Brian Dawkins is one of my favorite players of all time. Of all time. This passion for the game is so obvious. I'm like Michael Jackson before he went crazy. Yes, sir. I'll be there. I knew someone that would, would die for me. The most dominant defensive player that I played with in my 15 years. This ain't the end, this is the beginning. We need to finish what we started in training camp. It shows that it can be done, that you can be an absolute madman on Sunday afternoons between 1 and 4.15, and then also handle yourself with decorum and uh, like a gentleman and a class individual. That's why I think Brian Dawkins someday will be in the Hall of Fame, and it'll be a well-deserved honor.